Classic WoW is just around the corner and choosing a class to play is a massive decision to make. Unlike in retail where you can level from 1 to 120 in a few days or just straight up buy a boost, leveling a character in Classic is a huge commitment. For most players, if playing casually, it can take months to get to level 60 and the last thing that you want to do is spend all that time leveling a character and you end up not liking it, forcing you to reroll and do it all over again. So hopefully this video will make that decision a tad bit easier for you. Here are 5 reasons why you should play the Shadow Bolting, Life Draining, Demon Summoning Warlock. Number 5. The Art of Trolling A stereotype of a warlock is being slightly sadistic, I mean they steal the life force and souls of enemies and summon demons, and what's more sadistic than trolling lobbies to make their levelling experience painful for fun? Well, this is where the warlock really shines. The warlock can summon Infernal and Doomguard dismiss it, which causes it to go on a massive rampage, attacking and killing everything in its path, regardless of faction. Do this in an area like Goldshire and watch as lobby players run in panic from your Infernal as it slaughters everyone whilst you watch and laugh from a distance. You may get a reputation as an asshole on your server for doing this, but it's totally worth it as you know everyone who your infernal rips apart are screaming and crying salty tears from behind their computer monitor. Number 4. Raid Utility Don't listen to this guy. Warlocks are raid bitches. Warlocks aren't raid bitches, but valuable members of any raid and group due to the vast amount of things that they bring. For example, a hunter runs out of arrows mid raid and has to hearth back to Stormwind to buy some more, a warlock can then summon the hunter back instantly, so the rest of the group doesn't have to wait 30 minutes for the hunter to run back. In addition to that, they bring health stones and soul stones, CC with fear, death coil, succubus seduce, and interrupt with fell hunter, and then there's curse of elements. Every raid needs a warlock for curse of elements. It buffs fire and frost damage by 10%, supporting the mages, and considering classic raids have like 10 mages, this buff is huge. I know I would not want to enter a raid without a warlock. Number 3. Fast Levelers Warlocks are one of the best leveling classes in the game due to their ability to never stop and just keep going. Correctly managing life taps, mana taps, voidwalker threat and dots, a warlock can pull a mob and as it gets low, send the Voidwalker off to the next target and repeat potentially infinitely. Where most classes struggle to take on more than one mob at a time, a Warlock is able to pull multiple mobs with little issue. The Voidwalker can tank a mob or two, the Warlock can tank another, and then another mob can be chain feared. Because of all the micromanagement and not having to stop to eat and drink all of the time, in my opinion, Warlocks are not only one of the fastest levelers, but one of the most fun classes to level. Number 2. A free mount In Classic, it's more than likely that a lot of people won't have a mount straight away when they unlock them at level 40 because mounts are just goddamn expensive. I remember back in vanilla, I had to borrow gold from multiple guildies to get my knight saber on my hunter. Well, I say borrow, I never actually paid them back, but for warlocks, this is not an issue. Just like paladins, warlocks get the level 40 mount by just completing a simple quest. Also, as it's a spell not an item like the other mounts in the game, it doesn't take up bag space, which is a really nice little bonus. Number 1. Class Quests One of my fondest memories of vanilla were the class quests. Epic quest chains made solely for that particular class's toolkit and design, and in my opinion the Warlock's class quests are perfect. The Warlock is sent around the world to learn how to summon their demon companions, stealing a book of incantations to summon an imp, summoning a Voidwalker to beat it into submission, using a tree grave of two dead lovers to tempt a succubus, searching a world for a tome to pull a fellhound from the nether, gathering a group together to defeat an infernal and steal its core to allow you to summon it, and then to summon a doom guard, the warlock must kill various demons around Azeroth to steal their blood and secretions, then the lock must gather a group together to defeat the doom guard, but then there's a catch. If a warlock wants to use a doom guard, the ritual will kill a random member of the party as a sacrifice for the summoning. How badass is that? And then there's a massive quest chain to summon the Dreadsteed that might take some players months to complete. The Warlock must travel the world to obtain various resources, rip out the heart of a fellow Warlock, enter Scholomance to allow an imp to use its alchemy lab, and then travel to Dire Maul to finally summon the Fiery Horse. 
one of the main reasons I'm hyped for Classic is to do these quests. So that's it for my top 5 reasons to play a Warlock in Classic WoW. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe, and let me know in the comment section what class you plan on playing in Classic and why. Also, I plan on streaming the entire 1-60 leveling process from the second Classic releases over on twitch.tv slash TV. so make sure you follow me over there if you want to see that. Anyway, I have been Banana Raccoon, and thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one.